Hello and welcome to another episode of Limitless Brain Lab. This is Dr. Shweta Aradhya. Of late, I was shocked and surprised at a youngest patient, my youngest patient of Alzheimer's dementia at the age of 49. What is going on? The Alzheimer's dementia, what has to be happening after the age of 70? Because each decade, the brain shrinks and all the toxins, amyloid, accumulated in the brain giving rise to dementia happens after the age of 65. But at the age of 49, I generally am a very calm and a patient doctor. I suddenly rose up from my chair and I'm like, what is going on? A 49 year old with a confirmed diagnosis of Alzheimer's dementia? This is not accepted. This needs to change. Why are we having a lot of problems with dementia? In fact, the latest research has shown that the percentage rise of dementia is going to be 1700% increase. This is a absolutely unacceptable number. So if you have been wondering that you are protected from the memory issues and Alzheimer's dementia can never kick you in, you are in for a mistake because after the age of 45, 55, 65, every decade, the chances are multiplying. And younger the age now, the exposure with all the toxins around us, with all the unhealthy lifestyles, we are in for a big, big, big pandemic of dementia. What should I do? What are the ways in which I can protect my brain? What are those steps with which I can work on my brain detox? How does dementia happen because of certain toxins and chemicals which is accumulating in your brain? Now, in your sleep, it's like little municipality clearing which is happening. I come from Dubai, in the Dubai streets, next day everything is nice and clean because municipality was working. So your brain system is also getting rid of the toxins but happening at night. Hence, what are the steps that you need to do? You need to get that immune system or get that clearance system working well. Sleeping for 8 hours. Average is extremely important to get that cleaning system going on. So if you are not sleeping enough, if you are stressed, if your diet is not good, you don't ha eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, if you have a family history, if you have not been doing all the memory tips and techniques, if you go to and do the same work, monotonous tasks, if your relationships are not good, your surrounding is a lot stressful, you live in an environment which is heavily polluted, all these toxins are working behind the scenes to give you dementia what you should do so let's first of all acknowledge and recognize that having a baseline memory assessment is extremely important for you you know your body count you know your body mass index you know your wbc count you know your hemoglobin your kidney function what is your memory capacity what is your brain health index what is your mental wellness index? Have you mapped your brain? Have you scanned your brain? I am extremely passionate because what you can measure, you can monitor and you can manage. It's the 3M principle which works. I want you to thoroughly study. Uh, go ahead and do our brain fitness score. It's mentioned in the pinned comment if you have not done it. Go ahead and do also our cognition score because it is very important for you to have the baseline. And you can reach out to us for a very special scan called Neurosense by which we give you multiple parameters of your optimal functioning brain. We live in an era and age where everything is available. It's just a matter of my awareness and I need to really care for my health to make a shift, to make a transition. Let me give you very simple steps to avoid dementia. I don't like treating dementia because I don't want people to suffer from dementia. Every single time somebody comes who is young with a memory problem, I get hurt. So what are the things that we need to do? First of all, we need to learn to have digital breaks. Continuous exposure to digital is not helping our brain. It is causing the idling rhythm responsible for brain atrophy. Second thing is we have to get out of our comfort zones to do the activities which we have never done, playing an instrument, going ahead and learning a new music, going ahead and doing an activity which you have never done in your life before, challenging your brain. Extremely important. Diet and nutrition, what I can talk about it, you know, we have been using a lot of processed food, a lot of toxins. I have a little formula for getting rid of these toxins. It is called DAISY. Make sure that digital toxins, ingested toxins, inhaled toxins, your 
auto automatically what your body is generating the surrounding toxins and your emotions all these toxins are taken care to make sure that they are eradicated they get out of your system go ahead and identify and write down in each of the boxes what toxins do you expose your brain into and then very important that what are the ways in which your lifestyle are you including exercise in your daily life are you actually talking to social connections are you talking to real people are you having the emotions which are pent up are you letting go of it forgiving in your life you, do you have gratitude in your life all this has been shown in various neuro literature to have an impact on the brain's capacities dementia is definitely preventable yes a few percentage of it is familial and it is translated in the gene but remember genetic having a gene does not mean an expression it's like having a loaded gun but the trigger of lifestyle is with you so if you want a healthy brain if you don't want to get suffered from dementia it is very important that you take control of your brain's lifestyle you take control of your measurements you go ahead and keep yourself abreast to all the latest ways in which your brain can be protected the best helmet for dementia the best protection the best cover for dementia is going to be where you are in charge of your memory why do we need memory i mean there is lots of google data which is available there's lots of chat gpt available and the current generation is always going to go there or even for that matter you as an adult then why do we need to talk about memory so we need memory not just for the sake of remembering things we need memory for the proper functioning of the brain as we go through the decades of 2030 2040 2050 some startling statistics are going to come there's going to be a rise in the people with dementia where there is a memory problem there's going to be a rise in the people with autism with attention issues you may be already having or knowing somebody who is suffering from one of these problems so as we get along these decades it is very prudent and important for us to preserve the brain and memory and all the wiring of the memory is act actually allowing us to do that and hence it is very very prudent to learn about the memory in this master class we will know what are the secrets to a great memory what is the memory circuit like what kind of vitamins supplements what you need to do to enhance your memory what are some of the myths what are some of the facts would a sudoku and a puzzle stop you from having uh, alzheimer's dementia what really is alzheimer's dementia how can you have a rocking memory only by the end of this master class at limitless brain uh, lab we call ourselves as family we connect to each other we go ahead and reach out to a lot of people in various cities we want this connection to grow we want our brains to keep fired to keep the love compassion and care because every single chemical link to the emotion is repairing the brain so thank you so much for being with this episode and may you have a happy and a healthy brain signing off dr shweta aratya